Okay, so I have a confession to make here. I love watching home improvement shows, and what I really love is the process of turning the ugly, where you're saying there is no way they can make that look great into something that, well, looks great. And one of the masters at this is TV host Scott McGilvery, and people really love watching this guy, not only because he's just as cute as he can be, but he really knows his stuff. His latest show is called Income Property, and he is with us this morning to talk about how these amazing transformations are made. Hey, Scott, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Danielle. I am so glad you're here with us this morning, and I tell you what, I wasn't kidding when I said I really love what you do, because the thing I noticed with your show is you're always so seemingly calm under pressure, but I've seen some really ugly projects, Scott, that I thought there is no way Scott th can make this look good. How do you do it? Uh, well, you know, it's a lot of work, and you have to have a lot of vision, that's for sure, but you're right. Some of these places are just a real mess, and it takes a lot of work to get them looking the way they do in the reveal. Now, you got your start in a pretty unusual way. Tell us about that very quickly. You were a college student, you were broke. <laughs> oh yeah. To yeah, well who wasn't a broke college student, right? And uh, right. you know that, uh, that story was basically my last year of college there. Couldn't find a place to live in terms of rentals. Uh, and a friend of mine and I, we got together, we talked to mortgage brokers, real estate agents, and we ended up buying a house uh, instead of renting a house and renting part of it out to some of our friends and living there ourselves. And uh, we actually built a business model around that investment property and we ended up buying lots more and, and doing it for a living. And I tell you what, you have truly come full circle because you're doing obviously a lot of home improvement projects, but you're also doing a lot of giving back to the community. Where did that come from? Is it something that you felt you always wanted to do because you've been given what you've been given and it's it's good to give back, obviously? Absolutely. Um, yeah. You know what, I've had a tremendous amount of opportunities through the show uh, and just through my, my business of doing income properties. And uh, you know, you, you start with one small project and that grows and you realize how rewarding it is to get involved with some of these projects and I mean that's what we're doing down here being part of the biggest project that's going on in New Orleans right now is is really magnificent building 50 homes in five days 50 for five that's a project we're working on right now that's absolutely amazing and you know that brings me to our last question for you here you know in your work in renovating spaces what do you think is the most difficult job you've done and would you advise people to undertake their own projects or should, should they just get a pro like yourself and just call it a day? Well, you know what, there's certain things you can do yourself. There's yeah. certain things that you need to bring in the experts for. You don't want to be doing, you know, you need a licensed electrician, licensed plumbers, licensed heating and cooling, uh, contractors to do structural work. But there are uh, obviously tons of projects you can do yourself. And on, throughout the show, we're always trying to demonstrate to people things you can do yourself and things you should get in the professionals for. And again, I mean, that's something that, that we bring right through to these projects we're working on and down in New Orleans we've got thousands of volunteers they're doing all the DIY type stuff they're putting on baseboards mm -hmm. they're painting walls they're putting up trim uh, they're just even helping move material and loading things in I'm I'm in one of like basically the warehouses where you can see Sears dropped off all kinds of appliances we've got all these energy efficient appliances that are going in and volunteers are doing things like moving these into the homes and uh, and then we, the pros you know they're doing their part as well I think that's absolutely great. You know, I wanted to ask you too, because you mentioned, you know, part of the thing that you do with the show obviously is renovating and, you know, through that you help give back to the community. Where did the TV part and all of this come in? Well, uh, <laughs> you know what, it's, it was just happened by chance, to be honest. I was, uh, I was at a trade show and I met some people who were doing TV shows about renovations and I was just getting more information about good products and uh, talking to contractors. We got into a conversation and um, eventually that led up to a meeting with, uh, with the network about doing a rental property, investment property TV show, showing people how to do these proper renovations on their homes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you know the thing I also notice about you is sometimes you know you don't you just you don't mince words you tell them like it is but you do it in a kind way but I thought that was so great because there are some cases where you're like listen this place is a dump I don't know how you were able to do this how you were able to get past doing this without it being certified blah 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 but then you turn around and create this just beautiful space for them. Well, it's you know what there's no reason to really beat around the bush. Sure. You gotta you gotta tell it like it is. It might not be anybody's fault, but uh, you know the the status of the property is the status of the property. And uh, you know we're here in New Orleans, and I'm not scared to say some of these places are a real mess. 
sure. you know, it's not all happy right now. And that's why, and that's really why we're here. And it's a huge project, a huge undertaking. And, you know, it hasn't been easy to find like-minded people who mm. are interested in rebuilding these houses properly. You know, we do have some, we have some great contributors. I mean, this project is being head up by Rebuilding Together. Uh, finding Sears has just been extraordinary. They've brought volunteers. They've brought product. They've brought in their Heroes at Home program, which has, we've been able to complete 25% more houses than expected because of the Heroes at Home program, which again, you know, we're talking about people that want to give back. You go to the Sears.com slash Heroes at Home website and there's been millions of dollars of contributions there that has allowed us to put military families and veterans back in their homes. And that's the goal of what we're doing here. Well, great work, Scott. Absolutely great work. And thank you so much for being with us this morning on thank The Balancing you. Act. Terrific. All right, take you care. take care.